did I teach them to do this? Stick around and you'll find out. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and how did you like that intro? That's what we're going to talk about. How did I get Pretty Boy to do that? Well, it was last summer. I think it was mm -hmm. last summer. Every time I would give them scratch, I would ting ting on the dog panel. You know how your rings can make noise? I would ting on there. I go ting ting and Mr. Brown knew that the, the dog mm -hmm. panel or I'm mean, not Mr. Brown. <laughs> oh, Mr. Brown's on the brain. Um, Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy knew he had to fly up there to get the scratch because that ting ting had to happen every time that that scratch was coming. So it got to the point where he would flap up there and he and when he would land on it you could hear his little nails they'd make a little noise of the ting that I was making. But food is always involved in teaching the any animal actually how to do anything. If you know if you remember I taught Mr. Brown, I had to think a minute, Mr. <laughs> Brown, how to um, ring a bell to get his scratch. And tap cards. And tap cards to get his scratch. So you can teach, but you use food. And so the ting ting on the, ran on the, on the, on the dog panel is what did it. And I would look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, and he would eventually that's what he did when it was time for him to jump up he would look down look up look down look up and then the girls would be kissing him and getting in his way and then he'd move a little bit and he'd do the same thing and so when you knew he was looking up and down you knew he was going to jump eventually well he finally did so that's how I taught pretty boy to fly up on the dog panel to get his treat because I don't give him his treat unless he's up on the dog panel and he has to crow he can't just go up there and just stand. He's got to crow. <laughs> and how he did that is roosters just crow. So that I didn't have to teach him. He just does the crow. But I wait. that's how he calls me. And he calls all the girls over. He calls them over. I hear him crowing and crowing. And they're all coming over and they gather. Excuse me. They gather. And then I see him looking up and down, up and down. And then he flies up and then he crows some more. And a couple of the girls have started to to fly up there with him, but they could fly up there. There's been many a time they'll fly up there, but they don't bring out. I don't bring out the scratch because it's got to be pretty boy. That is how they get the scratch. I also was reading one of my comments, and it made me. And it was concerning the the superstitions and things. Well, it brought to mind a story about. A roast. You probably have heard this story, but where this lady was always cutting off the one end and the other end of the roast and then putting it in the pan. And she did it because her grandma did it, and her grandma did it because her, or her mom did it because her grandma did it. And so she did it. And why did they do it? They asked the grandma. And she said, well, because the roast was too big and it wouldn't fit in the pan. So that was something that was carried down from generation to generation, just like the the superstitions that people have, they do it, but they don't know why they do it. I do it, and I don't know why I do it. It's just something that somebody else did, and so you just kind of do it, too. I also would like you to check out, I will put her link in, Crystal Hinkley. She just started her channel. She's brand new, and she's going to do the, the squat challenge that I did. She's going to try. She's had she's had trouble with her one knee, but she's going to do it just the same. She's going to give it a try. So it'd be really nice if you'd all go out over and check. Give her some support. She's she's only got one video out so far, but she will get more out, I'm sure. Uh, but I would check her out. I will put the link in there so you can check her out. And hopefully you like what you hear and see. She's really very nervous. You can tell she's very nervous when she's doing her intro video. But who isn't? I was, in fact, she did a nicer, longer video than I did. Mine was so short. I should do another one someday. But I don't know if I will or won't, but I should. So that's something that I'm probably putting on the back shelf. It's on the bookshelf waiting to happen. 
So that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed learning how your, how I taught Pretty Boy to do what he does at the beginning of the video. So we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Hard to say goodbye. Ooh.